good morning even when it's 3 35 in the morning i'm still wide awake and ready to go woke up 20 minutes ago guess what i'm doing today i'm running the princess 10k with a friend this is my third run disney race this is his probably fourth or fifth he's faster than me we're running it together to have fun um, but i gotta keep up with him this is my first not half marathon for Disney. So just taking it easy, doing the 10K, 6.2 miles. Yesterday was the 5K, today's the 10K, and tomorrow's the half marathon. And it's princess weekend, so everyone kind of dresses up as princesses, wears tutus and stuff. Will not be participating in that part of things because, no. But we have to be at Epcot by 4.30. And the start time is 5.30, so. Here we are at 3.40. It's 4.30 in the morning and I want to show you one of my favorite parts. The rows and rows and rows and rows of porta potties And we got to them before everybody else did. And this is just one section. We already passed two sections of porta potties How exciting. You can hear music, there's DJs pumping us up, there's vendors, there's samples. There's specific banana peel recyclable sections so they can turn them into more bananas. That's nice. This is the fashion to have one strand of hair out. They have you go through bag check if you have a bag. They have security guards just kind of look you over, which I, I appreciate that that exists. Um, it's 48 degrees and there's some people wearing tank tops and shorts and skirts. No, thank you. Um, we're not even running for another hour. We don't start for another hour. It's freezing. I don't have gloves on just to take this video and my hands are freezing. And I'm from Buffalo. Yes, yeah, so you go through security. They have place to keep your bags. Anything that you want to put in that clear plastic bag, you put your name on and they take care of storing that away for you. So if you need to leave a jacket, leave some food, leave a water bottle, your keys, you can put that stuff in there. I've never had to use that. Just bring what you need and ditch the thrift store finds. This is my poofy jacket. This is the liner that shows that it's not inside out. This is the tag that shows that it is inside out. See that? I think it's a liner to like a different jacket, but $2 from the thrift store, so it'll work. Zipper doesn't work and it's short. It's like a crop top puffy jacket, like how ridiculous. But. And these are my new sweatpants for today that I'm going to be throwing on the side of the road when I get warm enough to, but I wouldn't be surprised if I end up wearing this the whole time because it is cold. <laughs> Look at this meet and greet. There's Mulan and here's Anna. I think that's it. Oh, Jasmine's over there, way over there. Oh, and Minnie. Minnie versus Minnie is way over there. But so check out these lines. Insane lines. So this is Corral A, and you go in the one based on the pace you told them. We're in B. Really important for women to be able to continue that mission. Great work. We raised over seven million dollars. It's your turn to fly. Here's a corral waiting for us to go. Oh, another corral. So they just said they're doing 30 different waves of people. So it looks like they'll just let some people through and then stop them. And then do more fireworks and let people through and stop them. Three, two, one, go! Up. Say hi to Sean. Hello. Good morning. 
Lots of throughway ahead of us. Backstage Epcot. Straight ahead is Test Track. Maybe I'll get to see the Space 220 restaurant. Is this Thumper's girlfriend? I don't know who this is. But here's an example of a meet and greet. And here's an example of a meet and greet line. And here's the example of the end of the meet and greet line. We're at the test track ramp. This is the part where you're outside. And you go really fast. That's the Mexico building. You guys see that thing? Mexico's right there. And we got Norway. This is the frozen show building. It's this. Really thrilling. Epcot Entertainment. Are these one of the trailers where Sergio lives? We're going to the left of Norway, to the right of China, and the torch is on. We are currently backstage, entering on stage. Now. China. The only time you'll go through Epcot hearing Topsy Turvy from the new Mary Poppins. <laughs> They want to run too. We're choosing to walk from here for the next few countries so we can enjoy it, take some video, and enjoy it for a minute. We've done mostly, we've only walked once so far. I'm a big fan of the torches being on. And the bathrooms at Germany were the bathrooms to use for the race, which is really fun. <laughs> I'll always remember my first time seeing the Regal Eagle Smokehouse. There it is. America with your water bridge. Thank you. You look like an elf. You got this. Nothing like a water break while you're running all the way from Mexico to America. Japan. <laughs> I know I'm feeling good because I forgot if that was mile three or four. That is good. That is good. And it was you're four. Losing track and you're I'm losing track. Over. I must not care. That's the experience, right? <laughs> I can see runners coming out of the UK. So we're coming back in. Maybe that's how we finish. The first princess weekend with the Skyliner in existence. Yeah. Russian runners, the boardwalk may be slippery. It's running Mickey and it's wicking close. Oh, it's Roadster Mickey, isn't it? Anybody want an ice cream cone? Going by the Swan and Dolphin, approaching the Beach and Yacht Club. Five miles, Gucci. Yes. Woo! Nice. My watch says 5.07. We're pounding it. Yep. That's not accurate. Yep. We're back. International Gateway going behind UK. Back here, smoking section. Backstage. Must be boring back here that they need the movie playing. Back at the Skyliner station. Disney What's Magic in a Cup. Like water, but it's free. <laughs> this is the back of the, what do they call it? Convention hall or something. They have some things going on here for festivals sometimes. It's right behind UK. We're next to UK. Yes, Stevie Wonder. Back here, next to the building we can't see. This is the back of it. Go away green, you can't even see it. We're in the back of Epcot. Yikes. Sean's tripping on speed bumps. <laughs> we can see the Gardens of the Galaxy roller coaster building. We're like 0.4, 0.3 miles left. Right at the finish. Feeling good? Yes. I think I see the six. That's where you'll launch in Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh. That's a big building. There's the mile six marker. Yes. We've been running for an hour and 24 minutes. Very nice. 0.2 miles left. Gonna finish strong. Piece of cake. We're so close. Do you remember? So close. We see it.
It's hefty. Thank you. Perks. This is why we do it. What color do we want? Red, please. You're welcome. Thank you so much. How many can we take? No one responded. Yes! Thank you. <laughs> Gotta get our free heat blanket for sure. Perks. Thank you. Definitely don't need it. Feeling plenty hot. Gucci's taken too. Thank you so much. We got our goodies. Bananas and a box. You get your food and then there's a bunch of photo opportunities where I'll insert the picture now. And then you come to all the porta potties and all the banana peel garbage cans. Time to stretch. I like this. I'm not a fan of pink. And I feel bad for the boys who ran, who have a pink shirt and a pink medal, but it is the Princess Weekend, so what do you expect? It's cool though. And it's like, it's really heavy. Watch how it falls. So heavy. Unboxing of the Run Disney snack box. Oh, we got tortilla chips. Mini. We got almond rice pops. We got another applesauce, which I already have six from the expo for free. We got cheese to go with the nachos and apples and cranberries, mini fruit bar, how cute. And a moist towelette, they've thought of everything. My goodness, see, swag, right? I'm walking away with so much stuff. It's like, it's worth the like 120. What did I pay for this? How much is this? I don't know. You pay for the swag, you know? You know what I'm talking about? So I'm back and showered and everything all done and I'm wearing my shirt. Pocahontas 10k got my medal you bet I'm wearing that today you only get to wear your medal one day the day you run so I'm wearing it going to Disney Springs too so maybe I'll get some discounts yeah runners get discounts and some stores and food in Disney Springs overall I think we averaged about 14 minute miles we walked twice yeah 6.2 miles was awesome and i would love to do a 10k again i loved the route it was so entertaining it went by so fast i've trained for two half marathons and compared to both of those like just flies by i was a little bit sad that it was over <laughs> i was ready to keep going they entertain you with lots to look at and going backstage at epcot and running around the countries while the lights are still on and the torches and it's like at dawn it was so beautiful and it's always fun to be a part of a community of runners with doing the same thing with everybody is always a thrill so highly recommend run disney i will do a 10k again i'll probably do a 10k maybe next year the same one princess weekend when you do a half marathon you have to dedicate your whole life to training for it and um the 10k i only trained for about two and a half weeks that worked really well i was ready for this i think like 10k is like the perfect in between of not like spending hours and hours training each week but you have to try and it's an accomplishment I think 10k is the way to go so i will be doing another 10k so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and that it wasn't too shaky for you when i was running and that you got to see some cool things some imagination huh?